Whoa, that was a loud clap. Hey. Uh, wow, it's been a little minute. I mean, you wouldn't know this because you're probably watching this video anytime, but it's been a long time since I've recorded a video and I've got a new bigger green screen and I'm actually in my classroom, not at my house. So it's a whole thing, but <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you should take something out to take some notes out. Um, graphing will be pretty straightforward and easy. We are graphing exponential functions. Yay. Okay. So it's important to note that graphing exponential functions, exponential functions generally look like f of x equals b to the power of x, where b is greater than zero and b cannot be equal to one. Okay, so you have your power and you've got your base, because it's all about that base, about that base. I just like that gif, and I use it as much as possible. So if you've already watched a video on exponents, you've already seen it, and I don't care. <laughs> so let's talk about, we got to talk about the parent function of an exponential function. And uh, we generally use, us mathematicians and such, generally use a base of two. So that's what we're going to graph. So in general, this is what a table looks like. You have, I did negative two to positive three for whatever reason. So when I plug in negative two, two to the power of negative two equals one fourth, two to the power of negative one equals one half, two to the power of zero equals one, two to the power of one equals two, two to the power of uh, two equals four, and two to the power of three equals eight. Y'all should know stuff like that. I think you do. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and plot those points. So negative 2, the negative 1, the 0, the 1, the 2, and the 3. And we're going to swoop. Look how beautiful that just swooped. Uh, okay. So my domain is going to be all real numbers. My range sorry, all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. We cannot forget about the interval notation, as I like to do a lot. Range is y is greater than zero, or zero comma infinity. Notice it's not greater than or equal to. We about to talk about that. Okay. What is an asymptote? Asymptote. Um, an asymptote is a line that a function approaches but never actually touches. Ta-da! So an exponential function is getting really close to zero, but it's never actually touching zero because if I plugged in two to the point zero, 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 one, I would still get a value. If I plugged in two, um, two to the power of point zero 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 zero, and I added a million zeros and then a one, I would still get something that was very very close to zero, but not zero. Okay. So it approaches zero, but the value of this function is never actually going to get to zero. So I say that there's an asymptote there. And that asymptote is the line y equals zero. Because remember, horizontal lines are always y equals a number. Graph the exponential function. Okay, so now we're going to graph uh, f of x equals 3 to the power of x. So instead of my base being 2 now, now all the about that base, out that base is 3. Do 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 So when I plug in 3 to the power of negative 2, I get 1 ninth. 3 to the power of negative 1, I get 1 third. 3 to the power of 0, I get 1. 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So I'm plotting those points. You see them coming up on the graph. Beautimous. I can't plot the last point, 3, to, 3 comma 27, because it's way off the graph. But those five points that I do have, <gasps> wonderful. Okay, so we talk about my domain. All real numbers is always going to be that way for an exponential function. Um, negative infinity to positive infinity if we are doing interval. No, say 
action interval notation okay my range notice it's bottoming out at zero but not actually touching zero so y is greater than zero or zero comma infinity soft brackets where is my asymptote well it is at zero so i say y is equal to zero and ta-da i graphed an exponential function Okay, so let's talk about transformations of exponential functions really briefly, all right? Um, if you've seen my transformations video already, it's the same thing. If there's a negative in front, it's a little x-axis reflection. This is uh, a value is a stretch or a shrink. Um, the H is your horizontal shift. Remember to do the opposite. And your K is your vertical shift, up or down. All right, so we already graphed f of x equals three to the power of x, but we're gonna do it again, just cause. So same table, plotting those points, same points. Ta-da! My domain is all real numbers. My range is negative infinity to positive infinity. Range is y is greater than zero or zero comma infinity. My asymptote is y equals zero. Now we must discuss our transformation. So f of x equals three to the x minus one. You gotta think about that x minus one. It is an exponent, right? And if you go back to the slide before, you will notice that that, that minus one is in the the spot of the H. Remember H is your horizontal movement, right? And because it's a minus one, that's really a plus one. So that means every point on this graph is about to move one space to the right. So when I go into a little graphing calculator, my points should reflect that, okay? All the X values, notice they moved one point to the right, all my y values stayed the same. So let's graph. We see, are you taking note that each point has moved one space over, one space over, one space over, one space over. So that creates a curve that's exactly the same, just shifted. The domain and my asymptote is still gonna be y is equal to zero. My domain is still all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. My range is y is greater than zero uh, or zero comma infinity. And my asymptote is still going to be y equals zero, zero. Okay. Next transformation. Notice my first graph is already up on the screen. No need to keep graphing it over and over and over again. Okay, now we have to focus on our equation. This equation, f of x equals three to the x minus eight. Minus eight is a regular size number. It is not in the exponent with the x. So what value is this? Is this an a, an h, or a k when we're talking about the transformations? Right, think about that. This is actually a K value, right? And this K value is going to tell us whether we go up or down and it's a minus eight. So the K value tells us to go down eight spaces. Very good, very good. So um, my table should reflect that, okay? So notice all my Y values I basically subtracted eight from all my y values on the table, okay? But if you don't like tables, you could just focus on the points on the graph. Each point on the graph is gonna move down eight spaces, watch. Eight spaces down, eight spaces down, eight spaces down, eight spaces down, eight spaces down. Swoop. Saza! Okay, so what is my domain? All real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. Every exponential function is going to be that way. Range, 
y is greater than negative 8 because remember we moved everything down negative 8 so instead of 0 comma infinity it's negative 8 comma infinity we got to make sure we pay attention to that asymptote if the original asymptote is at 0 and I have a transformation that I moved the whole thing down eight spaces guess what that asymptote always also has to move down eight spaces so y equals negative eight. Yay! Okay. Last example. Okay, notice what is happening here. Notice that I have two transformations, a combo, a one, two, punch, combo. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> So we got to figure out what does the 2 do and what does that negative 4 do? Why don't you think about that for a second? Think about it. Think about it. Okay. You should be ready. You should know that the 2 is going to move everything to the left two spaces and then the 4 is going to move everything down four spaces. Okay? So when we look at our table that should reflect that. The table should reflect that we moved everything right two spaces and then down four spaces. So we're gonna look at those points. Each point is gonna move. Look, the first point moves left two down four, left two down four, left two down four, Left two down four, left two down four. Domain, I'll run numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. Range, y is greater than four or negative four comma infinity. Asymptote, y equals negative four. Swoop, slide that thing down. And that's graphing exponential functions in a nutshell. As I say at the end of all my videos, make sure you took some notes. Go back through the video. See if you could do it without my help. Tell your mama, tell your friends, tell your auntie, tell your grandma, tell your sisters, nephews, uncle that you found this YouTube channel. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And I'll see you in the next one.